Hi today from Singen, Germany. Today we will be talking about Veblen goods. What are Veblen goods? What is it all about? I will tell you in the next part. In order to explain to you what are Veblen goods, I will start with explaining to you uh, price and demand in the traditional economy with, so to say, normal goods. For most goods in the economy, you have this uh, curve of price and demand. And this curve shows, and if uh, you studied MBA, you uh, have uh, seen that curve many times. This curve shows that the higher uh, the price, the less demand there is in the economy for that good. So if you want to sell more goods of that type, you should lower the price and then uh, there will be higher demand, you will sell more of that goods. But there are special goods that were identified by American economist Thorsten Veblen. Thorsten Veblen wrote a book, The Theory of Leisure Class, in 1899. And in that uh, book, uh, he described uh, the phenomenon of conspicuous consumption. So, uh, every class in the society generally wants uh, to be like the class above them, and they aspire, so to say, to the um, lifestyle maybe and spending habits of that class. And this causes uh, this phenomenon that they are goods in the economy, so-called luxury goods, that are not bought because they are needed in life. They are uh, bought because of the conspicuous consumption, meaning to show off to show that you are wealthy, that you have a lot of money and that you can afford something like that. And for those special goods, this uh, simple uh, rule, economic rule of uh, price and demand does not apply. For those goods, it is not the case that the higher the price, the lower the demand. For those goods, there is a opposite uh, relation, meaning the higher the price, the higher the demand for those special luxury goods, because these goods are not bought in order uh, to uh, satisfy your need to consume them, for example, to steal your hunger or something. No, these goods are bought to show off. The higher the price, the better the ability of that good to actually show off and to prove that you can afford something, that you are a wealthy man. Uh, so for this luxury good, there is this uh, relation that the higher the price, the higher the demand, because that this good um, is considered a better Veblen good. And so that's why it is called a Veblen good, because Thorsten Veblen identified the special goods uh, and defined this opposite relation to the normal uh, goods in the economy. So what are the examples of Veblen goods? For example, luxury cars, jewelry, uh, fashion, art pieces, uh, maybe brand goods. And of course, billionaires, some billionaires uh, realize that these are that there are goods like Veblen goods and this is a great business opportunity because with Veblen goods, with these luxury goods, your uh, margins, your profits are generally unlimited uh, because uh, the customers, they don't pay for the, so to say, intrinsic value or the uh, cost of the production or the, it's not related. The price of these goods it's not related to the cost of production. Uh, you can demand as much as generally as, as you want for these goods because uh, they are not bought for the usage itself. They are bought to, to show off and to, to say, I can afford to pay that price. For example, Bernard Arnault owns LVHM. This is a corporation uh, 
that owns 70 luxury brands, 70 of the most uh, popular luxury brands in the, in the world. Louis Vuitton, NSE, uh, Moe, what else uh, as good examples? Sephora, Tiffany, Chopin, uh, Dior, Bulgari, Givenchy, all these brands and many more uh, belong to LVMH and Bernard Arnault uh, became and is right now the third uh, wealthiest person in the world uh, with a net worth of 114 billion dollars as of today and I spent uh, a week in uh, Monaco once on a, a boat of a billionaire friend and I was like vice versa with the uh, boat of Bernard Arnault. It was, his boat was slightly bigger and I could uh, look into generally uh, bedroom, uh, the bedroom of Bernard Arnault in Monaco on his boat. Uh, so you see, you can uh, take advantage of that in business. I wonder uh, what other examples of Veblen goods you know. How can you use uh, that uh, phenomenon in your life, in your business. Write uh, your thoughts about that, your examples in the comments below that video. If you like this video, give me a thumb up. If not, of course, thumb down. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your loved ones, with your friends. One day they will thank you for that. I talk here a lot about economy, about business, about how the best entrepreneurs in the world think and act. How the self-made billionaires think and act. I talk here also about money, sometimes about cryptocurrencies, so if you like this video you will certainly like my other videos. I invite you to watch them. That's it for today. Wish you a fantastic day. Let's do something extraordinary today.